guys, welcome to Mac Buses. We have a new arrival. Now, all of these we've seen pictures already before seeing this video. But this is the video welcoming you to the Super Low Pro Denny's Dart. And this is a special purchase, which was a massive thanks from the patrons for their support in purchasing this vehicle and helping raise the extra money that we needed to save it before it went to a scrap yard or got bought by someone else which we knew what they were going to do with it so it's as far as we were it's the only one it's S114 KRN and we've had this now for a few weeks and it's got a few TV issues some of them have been fixed so I'll run you through it for now uh, it's the day we picked it up it started fine it but it had a little wee at the front and that has been currently bodged into place we need a few things for that um, the grab rail for the wheelchair broke and it only started from the back so it came 60 miles with um, water coming out the back of it because it had a small leak at the back thanks to perishing clamps, uh, doors didn't work on it, and some coping, and a few other little bits and bobs like that. So we have been working the last few weeks on getting it MRT ready, from having MRT currently, and we will be on target I think for doing it very shortly. But I'll just we'll jump on board and I'll start her up and we can go through a few little TV issues that this bus has and things that we've fixed already and things that still need fixing so let's go so typical dart this it's um, broken on the front end of things it's got dart syndrome as Jonathan likes to call it so it doesn't start from the usual means but it does start some lights you can see now. So the problems we've had with the dart so far, uh, handbrake blew up, that's, I don't know where they've hidden the broken one, I know they've hidden it for some reason. Um, suspension's very slow to go up, with uh, air leaks, um, etc. <laughs> and Jonathan's just rushing off now to go and show his off. So we have no destiny controller that's been fixed. Um, everything else works on it. We've got headlights, usual things. We've got switches, a few switches over here that we don't know what they do. And we've got an interior light on which doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know why. Cab light, which does do stuff. Destination lights, which got flip dots in, I don't know why it's got it. Um, I think they're supposed to be for the saloon blower. That's the engine start which we put in. Heating or cooling for the front demisters, which you will see. And the boost, which is on a rocker switch for some reason, and this one does the hazard lights. But it did do the hazard light, and then it stopped doing it. So that's interesting. Fog lights, that's up there. I don't know why that's now doing it. Uh, washes don't work. <laughs> On does though. Got to wear these from. Doors now work when they've got air, but you've not got enough air to operate at the moment. Oi! You missed your controls are down here. Yeah, need work. What are you doing? Did the alarm not go off? No. Oh. I bet. <laughs> I bet it's been unplugged. Ah. <laughs> I didn't even notice if a warning light came on, to be honest. We'll find out. <laughs> so, I've got no fuel gauge uh, or anything like that. Might have put a battery gauge in, though. 
that's about it, it's a bit smoky. Dark. It's got a Allison World Series gearbox in it, which so far I found the most uncooperative gearbox known to man. Uh, and with that said, shall we have a wander round? So we have the cab door, which actually, unlike 7176, we have a cab door. So this is the interior, which is pretty neat. It is quite a neat interior. It was withdrawn from service in, uh, we believe, about 2013, 2014. All the filters underneath show a 2013 service and nothing since. But as I say, that's gone. Them two batteries are duds, but they'll work. So yeah, it, it's pretty neat inside. Really rather neat. Uh, we've only got one missing seat, so if anyone's got a seat that fits this vehicle, you know, want to donate it, please be my guest. Um, we've got a fan with no fan in it. And when I don't think the roof loom works, I'd have to have a look at that first. Uh, the roof heaters, there's a good chance that they're just blown out all the time. Just like the rest of the bush. So then we can go outside. I don't remember how long it is. Go on up. So, you see, the paint job's not too bad because it's not been painted for God knows how long now and it's still in it from the original Rosso colours. When it left the company, so yeah, it, it's, it's in good nick for what it is. A bit of body damage to it, uh, about it. So I'm going to open the engine bay because it's a, it's a quick tent shot again. We have all our Everything works at the back, apart from the indicators up there. They don't work, but they're working so best. Well, we've still got all the original decals and stuff like that, and it doesn't prove that the door doesn't work at the back. Well, there's the build plate. Get another one back here. Pretty neat together. So with all that said, stay tuned for more dark goodness and we'll have it out on the road soon and we'll be tearing up Manchester with it. And hopefully, unlike B10s, we won't break down with it. Hopefully. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and like the video. Their ferment is screaming and the bear and roar night for right. Well, you will hear it coming as she is back with gold. Fuck her in the dirt and turn the road and meet you. Stop big enough! <laughs>